Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Mike Bavasso, and he is W6YDE, and he is having trouble with an antenna. He has managed to come up with a high gain model SPT500 Super Penetrator 10 and 12 meter vertical. He's got the instruction manual on it. You can imagine it probably also does 27 megahertz. But he wants to use it. He says he can't get the aluminum out enough for the thing to work on 12 meters. It'll work on the shorter okay, sporadically. Okay. And he's thinking that maybe one thing he could do is put a capacitance hat on it. Well, if you read the instructions, it comes with a capacitance hat. Okay, now the capacitance hat is shown right here. This is the assembly instructions for the antenna. And right up on top is the capacitance hat. And what they have there is some lock washers, okay, and the four capacity hats. It looks to these like these are adjustable. Okay, put that in there. Now, MFJ is in the process of closing up, but you might be able to get them on the phone and talk to somebody and find out if the capacitance parts are still available. MFJ usually carries parts for its uh, older antennas well for all its antennas now i know this is going by the wayside soon enough but you can see here that there are part numbers on there and you can get those parts now i'm kind of getting the feeling that when you're talking about one trying to stretch it out and two adding a capacitance hat that somehow this antenna made its way to you without the capacitance hat Okay, and that way you can add a capacitance hat. I think you had plans for something from DX Engineering, but you ought to look and see if you can get the ones that came with the unit first. Now, the capacitance hat, put some capacity up at the top. If you want to lengthen an antenna that's too short, you put a loading coil on the bottom. Well, you can also put a capacity hat at the top. So it's very commonly done, nothing wrong with it. Uh, at least if you follow this through here, you can kind of get the dimensions of what you're looking for. You can still find the manual for this on the MFJ slash uh website and get the manual and get all the part numbers and everything like that. So yeah, look for the capacitance hat. Otherwise, go ahead and build one like you were going to do. There are many different ways to make them, but try and get close to the, the, the dimensions that you have there so that you can have that antenna. I've seen a lot of antennas missing key parts, you know, in ham fest, swap fest, and somebody who's new to the hobby doesn't know what they're looking at. And there's something missing from there which can create a real problem. So there you have it. I hope that helps. And until next time, 73.